What's up, guys? So today we're doing a question currently being asked by Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and Uber. And the question is called All Nodes Distance K in Binary Tree. Let's get to it. What's up, guys? So today we're doing a question called All Nodes Distance K in Binary Tree. And the problem description is we're given a binary tree with root node root, a target node, and an integer value K. Return a list of the values of all nodes that have a distance k from the target node. The answer can be returned in any order. So for the example given of uh, this binary tree and the target of node 5 and k equaling to 2, we output 7, 4, and 1. So the reason that this problem is pretty difficult is that for a binary tree, we only get pointers to the left and the right children uh, because we have you know parent nodes pointing to its left and right children. Because of this, what we're going to want to do is we could turn this into a graph. And then given that we can create a graph, we can then just do a BFS going to uh, going K levels out and then return all the values K levels out. So step one would be create a graph. And then step two would be return nodes K levels from target. So the way I can just implement this is with two helper functions. I'll just have my first one being self dot tree to graph, and I'll pass in my root and my target, and then I'll just have I'll just return self dot uh, nodes k from target, and I'll pass in my root, my target, or I can just pass in my target and my k, but I need to start from my target and I need to go k. Uh, values away. So first I'll just implement this tree to graph function. Tree to graph Ooh. self dot self root and target. So I'm just also going to use a BFS to do this. I can say q equals collections dot dq and then q dot append root. Um, and then what I can just do is I can pop off the node next in the queue. So node equals q dot pop left, and then the way I can see the current implemented uh, tr fields in my tree node class is I can just use this dunder dict method that objects have in Python. It names something different in like Java and C plus plus. But I could just say if children is a implemented field in node dot dunder dict, then I oh if it's not in then I can implement it. So if it's not in then node dot children equals this empty list. And then now I can just add the parent, the left, and the right child to this list children. So I can say if node dot left then uh, node dot children dot append uh, node dot left node dot left dot children equals the list including node, and then I could just add my left child to my queue, so I can look at its children, and then if node.write, node.children.append node.write, node.write.children is equal to the parent right now, but I'll add it back to see if it has, um, if it like has any children itself. So after I do that, uh, I now have a graph with my using my tree node class, but with an additional children field. Um, so now I can just implement this function nodes k from target. And all this is going to be doing is it's going to be starting at target. And then it's going to be going k nodes out. So I'm going to use a BFS to do this. So I can just create some ret array. And then I also want to visit it set here. Because uh, if you look at the, like this example uh, with the target five and k equaling two, I could like hop one node over to three, and then my second move could be back to five. But I wouldn't want to do that because I would actually be zero away from five. So in order to make sure I keep going away from already viewed nodes, I'll just add the nodes that I've already looked at in a visited set. So this is going to be a queue as well. Q equals collections dot dq. Q dot append uh, target and zero because we're starting at target and we can just say well len q 
we want to pop this off so current node and our distance is equal to q dot pop left and then we want to say uh, if our distance is equal to k and um, the node is not in visited that we want to add this to our ret cur.value um, otherwise if cur not in uh, visited then we can just iterate over its children for child in cur.children um, q.append child dis plus one and then after we go uh, over all of its children we can just add the current node to our visited set and then at the end once we break out of this while loop we can just return our ret array so let's see if this works hopefully there's no errors sweet and this works so let's run it on everything awesome so that is all nodes distance k in binary tree if you guys have any questions about that just come in the comments down below i hope you enjoyed that if you did i give this a like and subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the future thanks so much guys have a good one Peace.